Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So before we get to the fun part where we actually create our API, there's a couple of concepts we need to understand first. Now I myself don't like a lot of slides, so I'll keep this to a minimum. So let's start off with the first concept. What is an API? Now an API basically stands for Application Programming Interface. Now that doesn't make any sense at all. So in plain language, it's basically allowing two applications. Now the one is our Laravel app that we're going to develop. And then the front end is basically Next.js to communicate with one another. All right. And we can have a, basically a contract between one piece of software and another. And it's going to have a structured request and a response. Now I'm going to make that more visual to you. Let's go over. Now let's say we've got a database, my SQL server right here, and our app is hosted on DigitalOcean, and we have a Laravel API on that server. Now our Laravel API is going to expose a couple of endpoints. Now the first, let me just show you where that is. Now an endpoint is basically exposing a resource. Now in this case, the articles right here is the resource right there. All right, so the the URL can basically be in this case at mozi forward slash API version one, or it can be in a subdomain API.mozi version one articles. All right, that's totally up to you. Now, in the one endpoint right here, we can expose all the articles, and this one we can expose a single article, and on this one right here, we can expose all the authors. Now, that totally depends on basically what the user is requesting. Now the user will send a request to our Next.js app right there. It's going to say, listen, I'm looking for all the articles. All right, so then it's going to come to this endpoint with a request, and then we're going to send a response to back to the Next.js app, and that's going to send it back to the users right there. Right, so basically that's how the API works. Just giving us a overall endpoints between the, the client and the server right here. Now this is going to be totally stateless because we're going to develop a REST API, which we're going to discuss in the next video. But let me quickly show you the, an endpoint example of an API. Now in the introduction, I kind of show you this right here. I'm not using Postman right yet because we're going to get to that part right there. Now, as you can see, we've got a couple of endpoints right here. So this is basically the author's endpoint right there. So if I click on this, I'll go basically to the author's right there. So there's one endpoint. And for the article itself, we've got two endpoints. We've got the endpoint where it's going to use the ID and another endpoint where we can use the slug right there. Right, so there's basically an API, and then the client can make use, or in this case, client meaning Next.js, it can basically make use of all this information however they wish. Right, so that's an end of this episode. So if you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.